All right, so yeah, this looks like a, a space that's not being used for shit. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole with the Dremel and custom fit this switch in here on the side. And this is gonna control our power for all our lights, our LED lights in the front, the back, under the car, everything. All right, what is good, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to another video. Man, a lot is going on. The car's completely done. The Tires are sitting on here. The car looks amazing, don't get me wrong, and I've had hella compliments. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys will know and you guys will see. The car looks really good, just the back tires are not poking the way I want them to, and I had to run spacers on the front because they did not clear my Brembo brakes. So I'm running a 25 millimeter spacer on the front with a nine and a half inch wide rim. So if you guys are interested in finding this out, make sure you smash subscribe and stay tuned for the video. But you gotta stay tuned and watch this video. But for today, man, I ran lights uh, underneath the car. Yesterday, I bought a brand new battery because my battery, after the car was parked for a month, the car was basically not moving. It didn't start. I was holding no juice. I charged battery and that shit wouldn't work. So I bought a brand new battery. It's actually like double in size. So I got a big ass battery in there now. But we are running hella lights. So that's basically what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna fix the lights because right now they're directly hooked up to my battery. And I'm gonna run a toggle switch into the car right here where my seat warmers are at. So if you guys wanna see me do that, stay tuned. All right, you guys, basically what we'll be using for this video, these are wire connectors. This is gonna be the connector wires. These are obvious, but they're new terminals for my car. Basically, I'ma just use one from this side and one from this side for the battery because the terminals I have on there are pretty old and they're not tightening down the way I want them. Um, these are to connect to the toggle switch. I'm about to run all the way into the car. And then these are to connect the wires basically to the battery terminal so I don't just have the wires in there. And I'll show you guys how I have set up right now. Here's the long wire that the homie gave me. All right, so as you guys know, I'm running hella wires through my car right now. I have um, retrofit, retrofit uh, spec D. I have the demon eye inside. I'm actually un running underglow and I still need to hook up all my engine bay lighting. I have the engine bay cover inside the house or inside the garage, I mean that I'm about to hydro dip carbon fiber, hydro dipping this carbon fiber, and I have the other missing um, clutch booster. Ugh, I can't talk this morning, man, you guys. I got the fucking missing piece for that side. <laughs> so we'll be uh, hydro dipping all that, so it'll be carbon fiber up here, give a little more look, and then I'm gonna run, I have eight lights to go up in here, but I have to run to the battery too, so yeah. So yesterday I went out and got a brand new battery. This thing is a mess in here right now. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clean up all these wires right now and get them right. Change out these terminals, first of all, and then I'm gonna run the wires all the way into the car with the toggle switch. I'm gonna have to cut out a piece on my center console to fit the switch in there to make it look like it blends away. But basically it'll run the power, turn the power off and on um controlling because right now literally it's still on i'm pretty sure yeah there's a light right there still blue i don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's still on it runs 24 7 i don't want to kill in my battery so we're gonna redo all this shit make it look real nice and yeah so if you guys want to see that man make sure you smash subscribe and stay tuned for this video man i appreciate it we all right so first things first and i'm also running wires in here these are the ones that's tucked this is the little antenna but that's basically for my i have lights basically on the floorboard and behind my seats in the back. So I, I did hook those up. I never made a video on it. I apologize, but it's pretty simple. Um, I just kind of wanted to get it hooked up and put inside the car. But first things first is we're gonna unhook the center console. My car is a mess because I haven't been driving you guys today. It was literally the first day I've driven my car in over a month. So bear with me. So I took out the screws. I'm gonna remove this whole center console and we're gonna put the toggle switch right here. So I'm gonna cut a hole right now with the Dremel. I'll show you guys that. 
If you guys don't know how to take off this center console, it's just those two bolts, and there's there's two other bolts back here that are usually in, but I keep them out because I I've done my clutch myself. I've done a lot of things, so I kind I want it to look stock and not super like a race car on the inside because I like the luxurious feel, but it's real easy to take off, so I just lift it and pull it up. So I'm gonna do that real quick because I need both. All right, so I want to give you guys a kind of like an idea. And why is my shit so dirty? I'm gonna wipe that shit out too in a second um, and show you guys the final look, but um yeah this is seems like a cool spot to put the switch i hope this doesn't hit it to be honest and it doesn't look like it will because where's the switch all right so yeah this looks like a a space that's not being used for shit so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut a hole with the dremel and custom fit this switch in here on the side and this is going to control our power for all our lights our led lights in the front the back under the car everything so let me see if i can get to cutting a hole right here with the dremel this is a dremel if you guys do not know so i'll be using that let me try to do this real quick and then i'll show you guys all right so i used the dremel and i cut a hole basically inside i took the piece out because i'm going to clean it clean it right now and wipe it down and make it look a little bit cleaner because this thing's pretty dirty but i made the hole um, I already test fitted it. It fit in there pretty good. So, yeah. Dremel works out pretty good. It's good to have. I'll show you guys right now. It looks pretty tight. All right, you guys. So, this is the final look. Looks pretty good. I painted it black after I cleaned it up just to make it look a little newer because it was, like, really gray and old. So, yeah. Wiped down the inside so it's a little bit newer and nicer. Sprayed it all off with the air compressor. And uh, now we're going to just leave it inside the sun basically let it dry but yeah that's the switch custom fit hidden for all the wiring so now we're gonna get to disconnecting all these wires putting on the terminals and yeah we're gonna do that right now so just stay tuned i might time lap time put this on my head and times lap time lapse it Ugh, i can't talk this morning man <laughs> So the wires are hooked up. There's no blue, no blue light on right now. Then go inside and test this motherfucker. There's the switch. I'm gonna turn it on. Ooh And now we have power. Beautiful, and that's controlling all of the lights. Now I'm gonna finish tightening all this up get it all put up cleaned up this is basically gonna be the end of the video so you guys stay tuned all right you guys man welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video uh my gopro is getting ready to die literally so this video is gonna be super super short i might even just add this to the video i did today so yeah i'm probably that's what i'm gonna do so abs delete you guys know if you guys are og subscribers i did abs delete through the fuse i basically put the brand new fuse back in there so now i don't have my slip or my vdc on since i already had this entire center console taken apart um, basically, this is the thing that controls your ABS and your VDC and all that. This is the module. Clip the orange wire that's under here 
basically and we're gonna run a toggle switch in between it to kill the power off and on so i don't have to do the fuse thing and we'll sh we should be able to burn out so yeah if you guys want to burn out and your guys car isn't doing a burnout basically clip this wire right here it'll work we'll do a toggle switch that way we can put it back together or turn it on and off whenever we want i've already made the hole i've already put the toggle switch basically on the here i'll just show you guys i put the toggle switch right here on the side so that's where it's gonna be at yep so look i'm gonna get oh shit. i'm gonna cut the wires and get everything wired up ready to go so stay tuned all right you guys so i am officially done officially done with the battery man it looks way much cleaner and better and nicer the one before this was horrible um i still have my i'm wired up for beat so i'm not running this because i don't have my amp or nothing hooked up right now you can see this hella corroded from the last last battery um clean up this the wires are all tucked nice and neat the only wires that i really have exposed are these and this is running to everything so we're gonna go ahead and throw the battery cable cover on I'll just show you guys the inside. So basically here's the side switch that controls the ABS and the VDC now. So I don't I I don't have to run with my all my lights on anymore. So this controls that. It's currently off right now. And then here's the other switch. You can actually hide that. But here's a switch that controls all the lights, the retrofit, LED underneath the car, and the um, demonize. So this is currently off right now. When I switch it down, it'll give me power to everything. I'll turn it on. This way it doesn't kill my battery. So when I park at night, everything isn't running consistent. Worked out pretty good and nice. I can close that up. I'm going to put this back on, get everything done. All right, you guys, basically what the mod was, was the, the little switch that I got under here. It's a secret a power switch. The reason why I hooked it up is because usually I have to go into my phone and there's three different apps. I have to control all three lights, which is the demonized, the retrofit, and the LED lighting underneath there. But basically everything that you guys just seen right now, I apologize, it's really dark outside. But I'm just going to hit the switch now. The car is completely off. I'll pop the switch. And it controls everything front and to the back. Everything at the same time, just on one switch. Hit the switch, everything turns off. Custom. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash subscribe. Come come back, stay tuned. Share with your guys' friends. Till the next video, I'm out.